No Film School's coverage of NAB is brought to you by Shutterstock, your source for stunning HD and 4K footage, plus high quality music. Blackmagic Design, amazing solutions for film, post-production, and television. My Road Reel, the world's largest short film competition is back. Hey everybody, it's NAB 2016. We're here with Bob from Black Magic Design. We're gonna talk about their array of new products, a lot of stuff for studio filmmakers, broadcast people, as well as a new video assist monitor and uh, some awesome new firmware for the Ursa. So do you wanna just uh, first show us this uh, firmware that you've been talking about? Yeah, sure. So uh, we, we're uh, announcing the new operating system for the Ursa Mini. So it's a uh, uh, we're calling 4.0. It'll be available later this year, but really it, it completely changes the way that we operate the camera so that from this screen, I can touch any of the areas uh, and then get into changing, say, ISO. We've added LUTs, we've added presets. Um, we've added uh, the ability to, when we do white balance, to be able to um, do an auto white balance. We can slide the scale and dial in whatever uh, white balance we want. Basically, we've redone all of the software, so it's a, a complete new operating system, and it really unleashes the power that's in this camera that we weren't able to sort of show right away because we're trying to you know, get them out there. We are doing an update that'll come out on Monday that's uh, for the studio configuration, which we'll get to in a minute, but this 4.0 software will come later down, uh, down the, the road uh, later in the summer. So sorry, this is the 4.0 that's 4 not going to be available till... It won't be available till later this summer. There'll be a 3.2 announced that will come out Monday that uh, is for the studio configuration for Ursa being used with the ATEM switchers, so you can do color grading, use them for live, and we have some other tools for that, which we'll get to, but for... So there, there are two different releases, one for the studio use of the Ursa Mini, and then later down the road, we'll have this new operating system that'll be part of uh, Ursa Mini down the road. This is the Blackmagic Video Assist 4K, so this is a 7 inch touchscreen 4k resolution it's got built-in uh, SDI uh, full size got uh, audio inputs it's got HDMI as well obviously and then it's got dual recorders SD card recorders here um, I have a little bit of playback material playback I have a monitor so I have a speaker too so I can you know hear it and it's the boom the boom box feature for yeah, you know exactly. on site when you can just rock out that's right so uh, and, and uh, you're recording 4k which flavors of ProRes to these SD cards uh, the standard uh, uh, HQ. So anything. Uh, yeah, you okay. know the normals that we do with uh, all the rest of them. Great. Um, these are shipping Monday. Eight hundred ninety-five dollars okay, so shipping uh, this week. So. Great. So these yeah. are shipping shipping now. Exactly. Great. So um, let me talk about. Yeah, uh, this. I noticed this thing. Yeah. This is. Uh, I remember like kind of buying like a forty-dollar one on eBay a few years ago ah. uh, that never worked. Well, right. <laughs> so we decided to uh, make one a little a uh, little bit more robust. So this is the Blackmagic micro converter. We're making them in SDI to HDMI and HDMI to SDI, HD, you know, SD and HD. And uh, basically, you can power it off a of USB. Uh, power. So if you have like a cell phone charger cord, uh, you can use that. That way, if you put this on the back of a big monitor, you can actually just power it off of the off of the USB port that they have there. It does include a, a, a you know a, a plug to plug it in with the different uh, options for around the world. But uh, you can. Nice. It's real easy. Eighty-five dollars. Uh, they're going to start shipping on Monday. Uh, both directions, HDMI, SDI, SDI to HDMI. And sorry, this is 85, 85 dollars. Eighty-five bucks shipping now. Yeah, right on. And then this is a new multi-view. So this is a, a quad split um, that we put put in the. Uh, we have a 16 view multi viewer that we have, but this is the the, the first one to have uh, built in the uh, Terranex Mini design. You can add that that the front panel that the Terranex Minis have, so you can get a little monitor and a screen that's a little $85 add-on. $495. Uh, it'll take SD, HD, Ultra HD, and you can view it out in Ultra HD. So <clears throat> it'll up-res each quadrant to. Uh, to HD basically, so you're really getting some good high quality and uh, you know inexpensive. It'll power over Ethernet, so if you have uh, nice. uh, Ethernet Plus, uh, it'll power over that plus an internal power supply. And uh, $495, and these are shipping on Monday. And so that's just for splitting a signal for to multiple monitors on set for for any kind of. If you want to see four different angles or or have different playback or whatever, so yeah, I mean, it's really flexible. But you know, you could actually combine these with our traditional 
16 and put quad splits in the quadrants of the other ones. And the next thing you know, you got, you know, 64 sources uh, for uh, relatively inexpensively to be able to, to monitor a lot of sources because we are up each quadrant to, to HD. So you're really getting in an ultra HD monitor, you're really getting some high quality there. So it's kind of neat. And then uh, the other thing we wanted to talk about is um, there's a, a new version of software for the ATEM coming out on Monday. You can play back HyperDeck clips. And also uh, the new software for the Ursa Minis uh, allow it to become a uh, studio camera. And uh, we should probably go over and... Let's take a look. Out. If only everything in life was on a swivel mount. That's <laughs> really how I feel about this. So uh, talk to me about this. This is, you're transforming the Ursa Mini into a broadcast camera. Correct. So one of the requests we got after we made the initial, the original studio camera was that they wanted, uh, you know, a tiltable viewfinder. They wanted, you know, so they wanted to put on the expensive lenses. Some, a lot of the things that we weren't really going for with the original design because we were trying to go after the mid market. So in the higher end market, I was like, well, okay, let's really think about what we want to do here. So by the new Ursa Mini platform, it was like, wait a minute, I think we can, you know, we, we, we announced a change between NAB when we originally announced it and then at IBC, we said, oh, wait, on the PL version, uh, we're going to have an optional B4 lens adapter that we that we created as well as being able to put the power and control port on the ursa mini pl so the 4k and 4.6k both of them can be adapted to put on these broadcast style lenses the more expensive lenses but they're out there whether it's this one which is a pl or a before adapted lens so now those are available to work with the ursa mini so now it becomes a live studio camera because we are adding the software on monday to add the the SDI in and out so that you're getting the uh, return uh, color correction that's being done on the ATEM software and you get tally and you get all these other tools that you need including turning the uh, headphone jack into a talkback if you use uh, your iPhone uh, type uh, headphones with the built-in mic you can talk back to the director all those things nice so this is the new Blackmagic uh, Ursa Studio viewfinder this is going to be delivering later this summer in the summer but it's $1,795, and it's really, um, you know, the kind of robust seven-inch screen. It has knobs, so uh, you know, so yeah. you can get through menus quickly when you're out in the field. Has tension adjust on both sides, so if you're right or left-handed, you can uh, use it from either direction. Uh, it swivels, so that is, it swivels. That's very important. And that's well, you know, sometimes the guys want to be able to hold a position, but then move the camera themselves. You know, move the camera, but not the monitor. You know, so it gives it, uh, you know, uh, a lot of different uh, features. I mean, even just just simple things like you know having the tally light there and in the back. Right. So right, uh, there's these little plastic cards so we can change out the camera numbers. Nice. Um, you know, we really tried to think about all the different features that people want in a live. Um, environment. Uh, this shield comes off, so when you're at Sun Shield, uh, it has um, the menu structure is a little bit different so that you're able to actually uh, use function buttons for presets and things like that. Uh, again, this is not a shipping product and won't be for a little while. You can tighten this down as much as you like. So yeah, I could totally, yeah. I could totally be doing that now. Nice. You were talking about the, the servo, uh, being able to power the servo for, for the zoom lenses and that gives you a lot of options. Yeah. Uh, for broadcast. So you have one camera that, that can be adaptable to any so it's a cinema application or broadcast. Right. So that's a, that, and that's the beauty of it because sometimes a lot of the smaller TV stations want to use it as the live camera but then they also want to go out and shoot promo work or whatever else so they can use both types of lenses and be able to get that sort of cinematic feel or the live environment. And with these lenses we can control it through the ATEM software so I can do the zoom and focus and iris adjustments and shade the cameras all through the ATEM software. Yeah, absolutely. And, and speaking of DaVinci, you guys are announcing 12.5. Yeah, so 12.5 is was originally supposed to be sort of this like interim step, not a full release, whatever. Now we have a thousand different improvements, 250 new software tools. There's stuff in there for HDR. There's new editing features. There's a new rampable speed changes. There's uh, We put in new what we call resolve effects. So there's like bokeh highlights and lens flare 
layers and they're all our effects that come included with the software that you can add on to, you know, like if you want to add a lens flare. We have a new single point tracker, so it's really easy to just go boop on the headlight and track it and add the effect on there. There's uh, integration with Fusion. So if you, you know, you need some paint tools out of Fusion, you can just send it to Fusion. It opens up Fusion. You do what you want, send it back. It opens up a node tree in Fusion to get you started nice. right away. So uh, a lot of different integration there. A lot of new tools in the editing side. People loved what we did last year, but asked, you know, can we do this? Can you do that? Four point uh, insert. There's all kinds of different uh, changes that have, I mean, like I said, a thousand, I can't remember them all. Yeah, that's a lot of features for an um, interim uh, step. Right. Well, you right. know, 12.5 is bordering up on 13. I'm not sure maybe we'll skip over 13, <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. But uh, is it is it part of the plan to kind of make D Da Vinci, uh, you know, a full NLE like people uh, in the future? Absolutely. I mean, that's what, what last year's announcement was, was yeah. showing people that it's a serious NLE. Uh, the thing about all the NLE features is it not only does it make it a full NLE for those that want to use it that way, but the integration that we have and the round tripping that we have with the other NLEs that are going to use Resolve for, say, color correction, it all enhances that too. Because the more tools that we have, the easier right. it is for us to do all that round tripping. And that 12.5 is going to be available in beta on Monday. Right. So right now, basically. 12.5 yeah. uh, available right now. Uh, video assist available right now. Um, the duplicator now. is available right now. The um, micro microconverter is available now, and the uh, multi view is available now. That's and then right. the the Ursa, the new uh, Ursa Mini firmware 4.0 is in late summer. Right, and the third 3.2 will be for the studio uses tomorrow. Hell yeah, right on. Well, <laughs> that's that's pretty much it from Black Magic Design. Hell yeah, thank you so much. Thank you.